I just learned what the inside of an air conditioner looks like. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be reading some Netflix reviews. I don't know when the last time I was on Netflix would have been, it would have been a while ago. And one thing I was thinking of doing before getting into getting into the video was I was going to, I have a skateboard right here and I found it in my wardrobe back there. So I was gonna do a trick on it. All right, I think you can see me, I'm right here. Um, I'm about to do my skateboard trick. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't run into the wall. All right, ready? I don't think I'm gonna do that again. I think I'm just gonna get into the Netflix reviews right now. All I'm seeing is there's a lot of reviews of people calling it shit. So I wasn't expecting anything less apart from that, to be honest, I, I, I find Netflix to be really shit. This person feels really strongly about it. Solution is to stop using Netflix. Yeah, agreed. It's, it's not bad. Not a bad opinion, that. Whoa, careful, careful, mad. I don't know. I don't know what your name is. Careful there. Too many foreign shows. Oh. I'll watch out with that one. Um, I actually like a few of the foreign shows. They're really good. It just changes up your viewing perspective, I guess. Oh, what has Annette got to say? I used to watch Netflix a lot, but not so much anymore. I spend more time watching BritBox, Hobbit. I was sorry. I'm really sorry, guys, that for the last few weeks I've been watching Glee and loving it, as I didn't watch it when it was on TV, so I'm totally into the show and go to put it on this other to watch, and you haven't taken it off. So angry, now I feel back to BritBox again. Okay. How many full stops did you have? All right, let me just, let me zoom in on that one. I've lost Annette. I've lost her. All right, so she's got one full stop. Two full stop. I think she needs to go back to school because this English is poor. Like, come on, Annette. Thought you would have been all over this. So all I'm seeing is that there's a lot of reviews about getting double charged or getting charged too much for Netflix. So I feel like it's a bit of a scam. I think I might try and find some other reviews from other platforms to see if there's any other better streaming services. Spotify, what is Spotify? Reviews. 1.9 stars. That's pretty good. Spotify is apparently set up to rip you off. Hmm. I don't have any problem with Spotify, to be honest. I actually think that's probably one of my most used app. <laughs> Stole you their money. Premium overrated. Clunky and not user-friendly. What do you mean clunky and user-friendly? It's just because you're on a sm Samsung phone. What is wrong with you? Someone doesn't like Joe Rogan. People really do not like Joe Rogan. Deleted it. Deleted, it's an operative for the... Okay, well, that's unnecessary. I didn't want this video to go that way. We're not, we're not going to stay on Spotify. What other things are there? Let's go to Amazon. Everything is rated so low. People just have a problem with apps and like websites and stuff in general. Maybe, maybe this is just because they're old and don't know how to use the internet. First of all, they put the wrong photos, which misled me to order the item. Emailed them, they did not reply, contacted customer service, asked for a placement, sent the wrong item again. I ended up with two wrong products, con <laughs> that's funny. Basically, she emailed and they sent her the product again thinking she didn't get it. And she got two of them and she didn't even want the first one in, in the first place. So, and the only reason she bought it is because the photos were misleading and were apparently very attractive to her. So, I want to know what she ordered, but she won't tell me. Oh, David got a rubbish product from Sydney. Unlucky David. I think the problem here is that these people all complain about same day delivery not being a thing. They order the wrong product or they just don't know how to use the actual website. There's some big problems there. What other what other reviews could we do? Let's find some Tinder reviews, see how that goes. Tinder's rated a 1.3 star on productreview.com. Oh, this will be good. What did you go on Tinder expecting? Fred was definitely on Tinder and stayed single. That's why he's complaining. Fred's done two reviews. He really doesn't like this app. Take your money and give you nothing. They don't have a phone number either. Let's check that. Well, Fred, I found a phone number in like five seconds. So something is wrong with you, my friend. Maybe you need to stop leaving shit reviews everywhere. Um, and maybe go outside. Well, I think I've had enough for this for one day. Um... These reviews were very interesting, very mid, some of them. So I think I might just leave it there and go do something else. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace.